Okay, let's do some more revealing of text, using it to come from behind walls or out of water. We're going to grab a picture here of a window, and it's three seconds long. I'm going to add an overlay title and go to edit for the, on the overlay title. And I click on the text, and you could add anything you want to here. What I'd like to do is change the edge color to something uh, more yellow on yellow and uh, I'll change the face color actually to a blue okay so now we're going to start with frame and fit it's very important to do your movement first before you do your cropping so you can see what you're doing so we're going to move the text using the X and Y we're going to start it I usually like to start it about right here and I'm going to hit size and position. Then I'm going to hit the end marker on the timeline. It'll go all the way to the three second mark. I'll use the X position to now move the text where I want it to end, which is right there. I'm going to go to cropping and we're going to do the right crop. So we have to go back to the very beginning of the timeline. Always hit a crop at the beginning of the timeline and we're going to use the right crop to crop where we want it to come out from, which is about right on this side of the window. As I roll forward, I'm now going to move my crop back to just where I want it to reveal on the edge of the windowsill. And I think you can, you know, if you'll notice my marker is at 21. So if I come over here to 01, Now if I replay it by going back on the timeline, it looks like it's coming right out of the window. Let's take a look at doing another one. We're going to go back to the timeline and we're going to grab the door to this manor house. I'm now going to go to plus and add an overlay title. Go to edit and I'm going to make the text red. I'm going to come down here, move it here because I want it to kind of look like it's coming out of the door. Change the text to look something, it's almost like a scary looking door. So we're going to change it to be something that looks like handwriting. So now again the same thing is true. I want to do my movement first. So I'm going to hit my size and position at the very beginning. I'm going to roll to the very end. I'm going to use the X position to move this about right here. It makes a marker automatically. I now go to cropping go to the very beginning again. I'm going to use the right crop again to crop to about the door about right there and I'm going to start bringing this in to about let's just say one nine and I will decrease the crop again right on the edge of the door to make my first crop mark that's very important so let's see that that works good that's 19 Go to the next nine here and pull that back. Okay, and now as I roll this forward, it looks like it's actually coming out of the doorway. Okay, for the third clip, bringing text out of the water, I'm going to add onto this video an overlay title, and I want to make it as long as the actual video. I'm going to edit it, and we'll write out of water and I'm going to change the text here a little bit I'm going to choose a black edge and I'm going to make it wide and if you'll notice it gets this drippy kind of look on it I'm going to go to frame and fit make sure I'm at the beginning of the timeline add my first size and position use the Y marker to bring it down to where it's just going to kind of come on out of the water I want it to come out about right here right there. I'm going to go to the end of the marker and move the timeline to where I want it to end which would be about right here so that would you would see how much movement it's got. I'm now going to go to cropping and you're going to use the bottom to crop it make sure you make your first crop at the zero mark and I'm going to crop it so it's right here 
so it will come out. I'm going to go to the 22nd mark and start my bottom crop. Go to my next 20 seconds, so if I'm here at 20, this would be my next mark at 10. I'll go back to the timeline and see what it looks like. There we go. And that's how you do it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.